Wednesday update on I do the 8th of December 2021 as Faraz proceeds to catch iron. Humaira starts praying to the Lord to keep him safe. As if answering to her prayer, before Faraz can catch him, Ian speeds on his bike and Faraz misses him and is frustrated. At home, Hamera is relieved to see Ian safe and sound back home. They engage in some of their casual flirting as usual. Then Newsrat comes in talking about the latest reality show to be aired on ZTV about acting. They are talking. In the hallway when Newsrat finds Nakat in her room, chatting with Imran. She calls the others, and they all sneak into her room without her knowledge. While she is talking to Imran, Nakat is blushing and when he says he misses her, she undecided what to respond as told by Newsrat to reply. The same back. She is embarrassed when they start teasing her about it. Then they again move on to their flirtatious exchanges between Ian and Hamera. Rashis tells Shuren that she doesn't need to worry about anything. Shuren says that she saw them with her own eyes holding hands. She asks him if he still has feelings for her and hasn't forgotten him. He says that they shared a deep relation once and hence can't detach himself from it, but he didsnt mean to hurt her. She says he has no idea how hurt she was to see them together like that, after he had lied and gone to meet him. Rashid says that she didn't come there to meet him, she counter-argues that he on his part did go to meet her, silencing Rashid. Just then Ian enters, and seeing her crying asks what happened. Rashid walks out of the room. Shuren says that nothing happened but hugs him and starts crying. Ian is upset to see this. Zoya is upset to see Asad beating a pooching bag relentlessly. Dilshad and Nazma, too discussing that he must be very angry, to have taken the pooching bag out. Dilshad says that they have to talk nevertheless. She goes inside and talks to him saying that it wasn't Zoya's fault. And that she doesn't even know how the CD got inside the cake. Asad however says that she did it. Deliberately. Dilshad tries to make him understand that Zoya is really sorry and can also help him. In making the presentation once again. He gets angry all the more saying that he doesn't need her. Nor anybody else's help to do his work. Assad's residence Zoya asks Nazma about Assad whether he is still angry with her and that she feels she should go in to talk to him. Nazma tells her that's it better that she let him because he was pretty angry still and would be all the more if he sees her. Suddenly an idea strikes Zoya's mind and she starts going with her electronic case. A concerned Nazma asks her what she is up to now. Zoya tells her to relax since nothing would go wrong. This time, Nazma thinks to herself that whenever she says that, something definitely goes wrong. Ian's residence Razia is pretending in front of Shuren as to how hurt she is about. Rashid's stinging remarks a bo9 oot her but it's her perseverance that she went on to bear it and didn't tell any of it to Mamujan when all she had wanted was the benefit of the family. Shuren begs her not to tell Mamu. She says that Shuren herself can make that happen. When Shuren asks how, Razia tells her that she had once won Rashid from Dilshad and she would have to weave the same magic of her beauty on him, so that he is trapped in her and can't focus anywhere outside. Asad's Residence Zoya calls up Rashid inquiring him about what happened at the play. Rashid tells that she did come, but coincidentally but unaware that she would meet him too. Zoya is happy thinking that destiny also favors her friend, but Rashid says that the heart may want to go with destiny. But the mind says to follow responsibility. Zoya tries to explain that the first resp he has is towards himself and that if he lies to himself, he can never say the truth to someone else. He is 
told that if he is searching for happiness in his past, then he has to cling on to his hope and continue his efforts in trying to meet her. Zoya is sitting with some electronic parts and wires strewn all over the floor. She is talking to some Chinese engineer about making an electronic circuit with them. Ian's residence Rashid is thinking about Razia's stinging words to Dilshad and Zoya's advice not to give up. He is about to call Dilshad for forgiveness, in the hope that she would, though knowing that he doesn't deserve it, when Shuren, emboldened by Razia's advice to her comes in wearing a beautiful attractive nighty. But Rashid lost in his sadness comes up to her and tells her that he knows she is angry ith him. He says that these days nobody is happy with him. He says that he would therefore go down in the study for some work and would sleep there. Only since he wouldn't want to disturb Shurin when he comes. Saying good night, he leaves. Shurin sits on the bed thinking that she did make an effort but Rashid doesn't care for her enough to be able to notice. Ayan hears Shurin from the window. Meanwhile Himera gets a stranger's message. On her email id. Sending in a reply, she gets a poetry-filled message, she assumes it's Ayan and starts to flirt with him as usual. But the chatter turns out to be some loafer guy, Nadim from her college, who is himself surprised at Himera's boldness. He too starts talking romantic and she Assuming Ian is finally talking nice to her, is on top of the world and bears her heart out in the chat. Asad's residence Asad is TL King on his new phone, where the caller is telling him that he should transfer all his data from the old into the new phone. He agrees to do so, and then cancels the call. He sees the mesh of wires on the floor and is about to reprimand her, when he gets entangled in the wires and trips and falls on the floor, and the phone is thrown off in the air. From his hand, Zoya too is shocked to see him fall. She tries to catch the phone, but in vain and ends up breaking his new phone too. Asad is fuming with anger and refusing Zoya's hand to help him get up, he stands up on his own feet. He asks her what's happening with all these wire. Dilshad and Nazma to COEM out of their rooms. She tells them that alerted by the recent repros of increase in thefts in Bhopal, she has devised a security system for the house, so that Nazma and Dilshad are safe when Zoya or Asad are out of the house since they live in such an isolated place. AASD looks at Dilshad in exasperation, but Dilshad motions him to be quiet. Just then he gets a call from the same person as before, on his house no, telling him that he was trying the new cell, but wasn't getting through. He wanted to know if Assad had transferred the data into his new phone. Angry and frustrated at his condition, he throws that phone and throws it on the floor, shocking the ladies. He casts an angry glance at Zoya and leaves the room. Zoya sitting in her room. Lamenting that she did the alarm system for the safety of the house but Assad found a fault with that too. Just then Assad tries to open the window and the alarm triggers off irritating him. Zoya, thinking it's a thief instantly comes along with her team of weapons, but Assad tells and reprimands her to keep the alarm switched off and keep it like that when he's at home. Then he tells her to leave his room. While she's leaving, Ian tries to enter in Assad's house in the middle of the night. Zoya sees his silhouette in the curtain and thinks that a thief has attacked the house. She again braces herself to catch the thief, but seeing it disappear into Assad's room is all the more troubled. While she wakes up Nazma, Assad opens his window to let Ian in and asks him the reason for coming so late in the night. He shares what is going on between Rashid and Shurin and S.Y.S. that he's troubled since he can't see Shurin like this. Assad asks him to treat his parents as human beings first who have their own problems and tensions and asks him to let them sort it out. 
themselves and that it's better not to know the reason sometimes. Assad also remembers Hasina's stinging words and tell Ayan to take his mind off this subject. Ayan gets up to leave Nazma doesn't agree when Zoya says she saw a thief again. She advises Zoya not to disturb Assad again on her whim. Since this time, he would definitely kill her. Zoya finding no other way out, determines to find the thief herself and speeds straight into the room and falls on Assad on the bed, who lets it happen in a bid to let Aya out of Zoya's sight. While Ayan tries to flee from the window, Assad rolls on top of her to avoid her seeing him. When Ayan is out of his sight, he gets up and asks Zoya what was bothering her this time. She again tells him about the thief and he again reprimands her for entering into his room without KNC King. She takes her pepper spray and leaves. Assad tells Ayan also to go and also stops him from casually trying to get Assad to hook him up with this girl. While he's leaving, Zoya who was thinking that why is Assad trying to hide the fact that someone came into his room, sees him and concludes that it's Assad's girlfriend and therefore he was so skeptic about the alarm in the house cause that would have hindered her movement. Ion's residence next morning, Newsrat asks for the laptop from Himera Siwan's Ion as chatting on his. She makes up an excuse of some project and doesn't GIV her. She then logs on and Nadim pretending to be Ion, also incidentally logs on and thinking him to be Ion she again starts her casual flirting with him. He calls her to the Taj Gardens in the evening and asks her to come in red. Meanwhile a love-struck Himera, reminded of the horoscope that Newsrat read out to her, is overjoyed that Ian is finally expressing his love for her. Outside Razia has some guests over who are discussing as to how sad this must be for her. When she comes, they start to commend her on her stability and courage even after the sad news. She asks them what are they talking about since she doesn't save a clue. They tell her that they know that Nakat and Imran's marriage has been called off. She cites this as a rumor spread by their enemies and that the wedding's still on. But they tells her that in another high-profile wedding function, they found Hasina looking for relations for her son and therefore they came to the obvious conclusion. But Razia tells them that there's nothing to be worried about and assures them that the wedding is most certainly happening. And this all must be their misunderstanding. After sending them off, she is wondering what Hasina is up to, she wonders whether she already knows about Assad's relation to this house or she really wants to call of the marriage. Just then she receives Hasina's call. Before she can say anything, she is told by Hasina to gather everybody in their house at five feet o'clock in the evening as she wants to talk to all of them and would tell them everything in the evening only. Razia is super disturbed hearing this and thinking about the worst. She hopes that Hasina doesn't know anything and thinks that it's altogether in her hands to salvage the situation. Assad's residence while Zoya is looking for ways to cure depression on the net, she finds Assad talking to someone on the phone, thinking that it must be the same girl from last night from the flow of the conversation, she tries to hear the conversation by following him, while he's probably talking to some business associate about his inability to leave India for a month, she thinks it's definitely his GF and they are having issues in their love relation. Assad turns around to find Zoya keen on listening. He asks her what the matter, she says she's okay. He leaves but comes back again asking if she was trying to listen to his conversation. She stuffs loads of chips in her mouth and also drops some on the floor in doing that. Assad irritated to his extreme leaves her and goes to his room. She thinks to herself that it's because of this problem that Assad's mood is always angry. She is very happy to find out that Assad is in love. 